Over the years, our homes have really changed, and not necessarily for the better. In fact, I reckon in 50 years, people will look back and say, what the hell were they thinking? And you know what? I want to do my best to make sure that doesn't happen. My name's Josh Byrne, and I'm on a mission to change the way we think about the houses we choose to build and the homes we choose to live in. I'm about to embark on a long-held dream, and it's the same dream that a lot of us share, to build my own home. Like anyone else, I'm nervous and excited about it. I'm wondering if we're doing the right thing, but I'm also buzzed by the thought that we're actually doing it. I've got a busy life to balance as I head off on this journey. I run a landscape and environmental design business full-time, which I juggle with a media career and I'm also part of a beautiful young family of four. I'm inviting you into our lives to follow the process of the building of our very first home. And I'm doing this because I'm really hoping it's going to be a game changer in the way that we see the design and construction of houses into the future. So this is the plan, to build two 10 star rated energy efficient homes on the one block. One for me and my family, and the other for my sister-in-law. The houses will have all of the fruit of a top rated eco home. But here's my main message. We'll be doing it in the same time frame and for a similar cost as a typical suburban home. We'll be using a standard floor plan and regular builders. And we're gonna make all of the information we gather freely available to you. Well, this is our block. And I reckon it's an absolute ripper. It's about 1200 square meters in the Fremantle suburb of Hilton and it runs pretty much due east-west. You can see the sun setting the west over there. And the reason why we've chosen it is that it's ideal for building two climate sensible homes, which can run east-west and have all that lovely northern exposure. So out the front here will be my sister-in-law's place. It's pretty hard to imagine, but pretty much it's going to be here. And our place will be at the back. And in between the two, a shared food garden with chooks and veggies and fruit trees. Now, it may not look like much just at the moment, but in fact, there's been a heap of work already done. Let's take a look at it. Of course, being our family home, my wife Kelly and I have spent many, many hours together trying to work out yeah. what we Bench. want. It was it's about this wall? No, it's about the access and the usability. But for expert advice on the performance of the homes, we've been working with Griff Morris, who is just as passionate as I am about changing the way we design and build our homes for the better. Yeah, so look, have a look and see where you are. See what you think. In terms of um, the prelim rating and stuff, are we are we uh, not wanting to put pressure on you? No. But are we at we're, 10 stars? We're, we're at 10 stars, Josh. We're at 10 stars? Yeah, we're at 10 stars. Right, well, okay. So, so overall, you reckon it's on, it's on track? It's looking good at this stage? Yeah, no, no, it's on track. It's yeah. looking good. Um, we just have to, you know, talk to the builder and see now, what his yes, timelines are. How, how are we looking there? I mean, um, in terms of timelines and when this thing's ready to go, what kind of build time do you reckon we're realistically looking at? I mean, Traditionally, talking... build time for this is about six to eight months, depending yeah. on the time of the year. Yeah. Is that a real six to eight months? Or? Yeah, no, that's a real six okay. to eight months. So, so we've got to do that, and you reckon we can do it for around 1,200 a square metre? Absolutely. Well, then I might have a few pennies left for the landscaping. That's you good. will. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> This project is designed for the general population. It's not a home that's going to be a great big edifice to someone's ego. Um, it's actually a statement of what can be done for the general population in a cost-effective way with high performance. And so some people will look at it and say, oh gosh, you know, we could make it look better than that, we could actually make it bigger than that. It's not about those things. It's about the performance and about using the least amount of resources to produce the best result. For inspiration, Griff is showing me one of his recent projects, which is based on the same principles as our design. So, how does it it's feel? lovely and comfortable. Mm. So, uh, obviously north facing and north facing, 28 course north yep. facing windows. Yeah, um, yep. even up the front you have the bathroom facing north, so the sun comes in and stops the mould and mildew growing. So breezeways, so windows there and 
You've what, got, under here too? Or? Yeah, you've got the breeze coming okay. through there, yeah. and also this lifts up, and there's two windows here, so right, cross so ventilation at the gotcha. high point. You've got the drapes over here, so you don't have to put double glazing in. Those drapes will work extremely well. Now, how about sort of use of space? So, I know that universal access yes. is a key thing, yeah, so everyone good. can use it. So, the kitchen clearly, the kitchen, that's laid out. Very easy layout. Doors are wider right through the whole home. Yep. Um, I guess the only thing is, um, I mean, it's lovely, and it's spacious, and it's light, and it's mm. airy, and it's very comfortable, firmly, but... Um, it does look like a very sort of typical new home, doesn't it? Mm, it does. It's just a concept thing I've got to get my head around. I'm mm. used to seeing sustainable homes that are rammed earth and straw bale and that's right. And this is um, very conventional materials yeah. like we're using, I guess, to keep mm. the price well, down. Well, the thing is, that's what stops a lot of people. With this as a normal home, yeah. you know, with normal people. Yeah. Um, and it could look like any other home in the street, but the way it operates is totally different. Yes. I reckon there's going to be a lot of people looking at this project. And when Josh is there saying he's building a sustainable house, they're going to look at it and they're going to go, well, that looks very, very conventional. You know, you're using brick, you're using concrete, uh, and they're going to be thinking, why aren't I using mud brick? Why aren't I using straw bale? Why aren't I uh, using rammed recycled rubble? Uh, these are good questions, but the answer is we've got to do something that we can build for around 1200 bucks a square metre. And that, importantly, that I want any other builder to be able to say, hang on, there's no reason why we aren't building our homes like this. Of course, a thermally efficient house needs to consider more than just the building. It also needs appropriate landscaping. Water efficiency is just as important, and that's where my team come in. Okay, so the concept's good. We've got all the water systems designed. We'll probably get into, mm -hmm. I guess, some, detail. some details. Yeah. We? And then the, um, the scary part, um, have we got any budgets yet or well, don't I don't want to know about that? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a dream still. Yeah. All right, all right, we'll talk about, we'll talk about, that, about later. that later on. <laughs> part of the plan of this project is to all the documentation that we do, the design work, the housing plans, all the detailed engineering schematics for the, the groundbreaking water systems, we're going to make them all available publicly for free. Put them on the website. And I guess that's you know, my little contribution back for those who maybe aren't so lucky of having great people to, to help them, to go, here you go guys, this is what we've come up with, see what you reckon, and, uh, and you're welcome to, welcome to the information. After so much running around, and with a million thoughts in my mind, it's always nice to come home to my family and remind myself that this project is also about building a beautiful home for them. So we've been living here for about a year and a half, uh, we're renting. In fact, we've rented uh, all of our houses so far, including all the ones that I've done up on TV over the years. But it's finally time to do our own place. And uh, you know what, I'm, um, I'm ready for it. It's been such a smooth process. It's, I mean, people talk about building houses, breaking up relationships, but the house has been totally crazy. Um, and I think most of the work the hardest work is, has been done in the design. Uh, that's taken probably more energy and effort than I think now we just have to wait for it to be built. And I think both of us can't wait to be in there. We just want it to be over now. We want to be in. Well, the design and preparation is pretty much done. It's really just time to uh, get started with the build. To find out more about the project and to sign up to our mailing list, go to joshushouse.com.au. You can also follow the conversation on Facebook and keep an eye out for the next video instalment. Yeah, there's gonna be lots of builders. It's gonna be owls. It's gonna be owls. And a bigger playroom. Uh, a bigger playroom. Tells. More fruit trees. Yeah. More fruit trees. And huge big veggie gardens. Huge veggie gardens. And what are we going to grow in the veggie garden? No. What would you like to grow? Spinach. <laughs>